Hello guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP. In today's video, I am going to discuss with you how we can create a Power Apps Canvas app from an Excel sheet. So previous example, I have explained how we can create a Canvas app from a SharePoint list and today we will discuss about how we can do this thing from an Excel. So what I'll do is I'll go to the system now. I'll show you how we can create the Excel and then what are the format settings that we need to do. And then I'll show you how we can do that uh, or, or how we can create the Power Apps Canvas app from that Excel. So now before creating the apps, let me first show you the Excel file and I will tell you where exactly you need to save it. So if I will just open on the drive here, you can see here in the desktop, I have this file. So I have created this uh, a product file. You can see I have added column, product ID, product name, color and quantity available. And I have inserted some data. So first time if you are creating the Excel file, what you should do is like I will take in another sheet and I'll show you. Now suppose I want to add the column uh, names here. So I'll suppose add here employee name and then probably I will add another column which is uh, let's say the designation. So I'll put here designation. Now next what you should do is you can enter some uh, record here. I'll just add enter here. So I'll say developer and then I'll put one more and then you can add something else let's say the nature now next we need to format this excel as a table so you select the records you can see here i selected uh, including the header and here you can see click on conditional format sorry click on format table and then select a format and then you can see here uh check, check this option my table has header click on okay so what will happen is it will uh, the first row it will take as a header of this excel and most importantly another thing you can do is here you can rename the table by default it will come like table one table two you can uh, let's say i will store here uh, i'll give the name as employees so now you can save it so once you save it next thing what you should do is you can upload this file to your onedrive for business or google drive or you can take a normal OneDrive also, you can add it, any cloud storage. So once you have the Excel ready, so what you can do is you can upload this file to OneDrive for business or Google Drive or OneDrive, anywhere you can put it in any cloud storage. Now what I'll do is I'll open my OneDrive for business, you can see it here. Go to my files, you will see here, I have already uploaded my file here, products. This is the same Excel file which we created over there. Now I'll open uh, make.powerapps.com you can see it here so once you open it you can uh, you will be able to see uh, in the left navigation click on create and then you can see here you can choose uh, the start with so i'll choose here excel so once you have excel here you choose it you you can have a connection if since i have already created so my onedrive uh, for business you can see the connection is already there so you can select it and then you can choose the file so in this case if you'll see that is the product uh, products.xls file so which and and this is the table name so if you have multiple tables it will show you and then you can select which table you want to create the app and then click on connect so once you click on connect it will take some time and uh, develop a fully fleshed uh, you know uh, app for us so that we can use it and now you can see here I have a couple of records on this. I'll just make a little bigger. Same way like how we have done previously in the previous video. So now you will see here three uh, screens it has been created. Now if you'll just click over here, you can see, uh, I, I can click over here. I can see the records, individual record. I can edit it. I can uh, you know save it or I can cancel it. And then if we we'll delete it, the record will be deleted from uh, here as well. So what I'll what we will do here is, uh, in fact, you can just close it and let me just close it. And you can see, you can uh, give the name for it. So I'll say Excel demo app. You can see I'll just click the app, save this, and you can see here the app is saving now. Once it is saved, uh, then you can publish it. So now previous uh, video, I have also explained this screen. You can see you can directly uh, publish it or you can click on edit details and you can uh, check some of the details also. You can change the color, icon, name, description. You can even ch uh, change the orientation as well on this thing. You can do it. So what I'll do here is now particularly I'll click on this and publish this person. 
So once you do it, then uh, you can go to the Power Apps homepage. So I'll just open the URL again so you can see. And then I'll go to the apps. The app name we gave is Excel Demo App. You can see this one. So you can click over here and click on play. So now what I'll do is you can add some item into it. Suppose I will say the color is green and then product ID is test 01 and then product name will give test and quantity let's say it will give right now. You can see the column orders are not correct. We will see on the formatting section. But now if you will see here, now I saved it. So you can see here the item has been saved. Uh, you can see probably this item, green color test 01 and the, these things. So now uh, where the data is saving, if I'll go to my Excel file, I'll just click on this so that I can see this Excel file. You can see the last record, which is the record which we created now. So same way, even if I will, let's say, delete this record, you can see I have deleted, I click on delete and this record has been deleted. And if I will open same the uh, products file, the Excel file, you will see that record has been deleted. So this is how, this is a fully fledged app. And then you can, uh, you can do this from simply by, from an Excel file with couple of clicks on this. So in the future videos, as I said, we will see some of the uh, customization option as well. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. In the upcoming videos, we will see how we can customize Power Ops forms and also we will discuss about functions and all these things. If you like the video, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you will get a lot of free videos on SharePoint, Power Ops, Power Automate, Power Virtual Agent, SPFX, all these technologies for free. Thank you and have a nice day.